What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today, we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Springdale 220RD. This one has me really excited because this is a very simple, small travel trailer that's going to be easy to tow, doesn't have any slide outs on it, has a huge back window. You can already see some of the windows that you have back there in the back. And it has seating for up to six people. Plus, you're going to be able to sleep four to five people potentially with how the beds can be configured in here as well. So a lot of great things going on with this floor plan. I'm a big fan of it, and I think you're going to love it as well. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button. If you want to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description. And then if you see something that you like out of this trailer and would like further assistance in purchasing this RV, I am in a sales position. So you can text me at the number on the screen and I would love to assist you in getting into your next RV, whether it's this one or any other RV that you've seen. So this is the 2022 Keystone Springdale 220 RD. You'll see the specs here on the screen, but this unit comes in right at about 26 and a half feet long, bumper to bumper and it's going to be about 4,800 pounds. So I really like this one here because I have a Toyota Tacoma and my Toyota Tacoma has about a 6,500 pound towing capacity here. And this is something, this is probably about as big as I'd wanna go towing something with my Tacoma here in Texas. And I feel like this is a really great floor plan for either a single person, a couple, or even somebody that may have a kid that they wanna get out camping, get out of tents and have plenty of living space and plenty of seating space to be comfortable in something that doesn't have too big of a shell and doesn't have any slide outs to deal with or anything like that. So let's look around, we'll start with everything out front. You can see the really nice looking front cap here on the 2022 models. They added this white accent in here to go along with the silver of the aluminum framing there. This is an aluminum frame, or not aluminum framing, sorry, aluminum shell. So this is an aluminum trailer with a wooden framing on it. We'll take a look at some of that in more detail here in a second. You're going to have power tongue jack here. So power tongue jack up front, 20 pound propane bottles. And then you actually have a spot for two batteries up here. So designated spots for two batteries, which is really nice that you can put up here now instead of just one. And like that they put the framed out pieces for both those batteries there if you want to do a two battery setup. And then this is basically like a battery disconnect right here so you can disconnect all power to your batteries coming around to this side you're going to have your water hookups here so fresh water and city water connections if you just want to fill your fresh water tank just put a hose in there it'll fill your fresh water if you are at a campsite with water hookups you can open this up and plug a hose or screw a hose into there and have pressurized water running through there you're going to have one single dump station down underneath here. So everything will be dumping out of this one spot here from your gray and black tanks. And as we're looking underneath here, you can see that you have electric stabilizers. So the stabilizers on both the front and the rear will be electric. And then I do want to point out that your freshwater tank here and your black and gray tanks are all open and exposed underneath here. So not too big of a problem. I know my family, we have never, that I can recall, ever camped in conditions that were below freezing temperatures. So not something that you encounter too often, but if you are somebody that wants to camp in below freezing temperatures and have water in your tanks at the same time, be aware that this model does not have enclosed water tanks underneath there. So something to just be cautious about. But like I said, my family has never run into situations where our water tanks would freeze. And if for some reason we were camping in conditions like those, you just don't have to use water as well. You can um, bring portable water with you in containers, stuff like that, if you want to keep it inside the trailer. So different ways you can get around that, but just want to make sure you know that those are open and exposed tanks underneath there. Coming to the pass-through storage compartment, see through here, have a pretty wide pass-through storage compartment, especially up there in the front. You see your wooden framing that you have in here as well. And then you have a solar charge controller. So that's what this is right here. That is connected to the 200 watt solar panel that is on the roof that is going to make sure your battery stay charged. And you have an app that this will come with that is going to give you some valuable information such as how much power is being drawn from the solar panel and information about like how much battery life is left on your battery, things like that. You can also see the inverter prep right there. So if you did want to install an inverter and expand the solar system, you can then start getting power to some components inside the RV like your outlets off of the solar as well. All right, coming here, you're gonna have an outdoor shower. I don't have my key to open this up, but basically right behind here, you do have a shower head with hot and cold water. 
You're going to have a black tank flush. So this here, when you are ready to dump your black tank, you can hook a hose up to there and it's going to send pressurized water through your black tank to clean that out. You have a designated power cord storage compartment, which is really nice. So your power cord will just tuck right behind there when you are done camping and you won't have to worry about finding storage for that power cord. Really like that. Underneath here, you're going to have your leaf spring suspension. And then coming along the back, you do have a spot for satellite hookups. If you did want to install a satellite that sat on the side of your trailer out here, you can plug one in there. Now, what I really like about this floor plan is the huge windows along the back wall here. You can see how big this window is. And just imagine being at your campsite, how great your view is going to be around your entire campsite with this window set up. And all your seating is right back here as well. So you'll see that when we go inside. Yeah, backup camera prep, pre oh, wow, can't speak. Backup camera prep, so if you want to install a backup camera, you'll be able to put one right up there as well. Then you have a spare tire on the back. You do have the bumper back here that you can store sewer hoses in, so that cap can come off and you can feed sewer hose through there to store it. You can see your controls here for the electric stabilizers, the extend and retract. And then you have TV hookups. So out here, TV hookups to hook up a TV, you have the satellite plug and you have outlets underneath here. Now, when you see these yellow stickers, when I was talking about how you can install an inverter, if you installed an inverter, then every outlet here that is inverted or has this yellow sticker has the inverted outlet on there. If you install the inverter, you can start getting power from solar to these outlets there. You also have a vent out here. So when you have the fan on above your oven or stove, that is going to vent air outside of the trailer. Got two outdoor speakers and you have an awning, plus you can see the 200 watt solar panel up there as well. So overall a really good looking trailer and not too big of a you know size here. It's big enough that you're gonna have a lot of space but not super intimidating. So really like that. Now as we go inside, you're going to have the Lippert solid steps. So three big steps here. The Lippert solid steps give you this really large first step coming out of the trailer as well. But you have a nice solid step going inside the trailer. And as I open this up, we'll talk about a couple different things real quick that are pretty important. First of all, we are a priority RV network dealer here at Holiday World. So what this means is, if you look at this map on the screen, we have 130 different locations that are a part of this network. They are not all Holiday World stores, but they are all dealerships that are a part of this network. Where if you purchase from a dealership within this network and you are in the middle of a camping trip and you are ever more than 100 miles away from your home address, and you have any sort of emergency that is preventing you from being able to use the RV properly. Things like a major water leak, AC not working, refrigerator not working, uh, stuff like that that would really be fully preventing you from being able to use the RV the way that it's intended to be used. They will get you in the front of the line at their storage or at their service department. That is something that you can't buy in to be a part of. It is only something you become a part of when you buy from a dealership that is a part of that network and you get front of the line service if you have any emergencies while you are in the middle of traveling. So that is something that is very important that we talk about quite a bit. It is not sales related, so those are not all different dealerships that you can purchase RVs through me with, but they are all dealerships that you can get service from if you are in the middle of a camping trip and you need emergency service. Last thing before we step inside, I do wanna point out over here this area as well. This is our campground that we have on our facilities here. Very important part of Holiday World of Dallas and what we have to offer for our customers. And this space here has eight different spots for RVs that can be set up with full electrical and water hookups. Our customers that purchase from us can use this space for free and how it is most often used, like as you can see these uh, people back here, after they purchase their RV, they can actually stay in it for a day or two just to test out everything, make sure everything works properly, make sure they understand how to do everything before they take it back home. That way, if anything is not working properly, we can hop on it right away and get it fixed before you take it home or go on your first camping trip. Or if you don't know how to do something, we're right here to help you out. So that is a really important thing that we offer here at Holiday World. Even someone like my dad, when he came and bought his RV for me, he stayed here for a couple of days before he took it back up to Colorado. And while he was here, he realized that his gray tank valve was not closing all the way. So that's something that we were able to quickly fix for him and fix it before he got back on the road and took it back home, making his life a whole lot easier for him. So something that we talk about a lot with our customers and encourage you to use. All right, that's everything for the service side of things. So let's hop inside. And as we come inside, you're going to see you have a queen size bed here to the right. Plus you have two storage shelves and two wardrobe cabinets. We'll open things up and get into those here in just a second. And then... You have a kitchen set up here. 
you actually get a full kitchen setup in this travel trailer, which I love being at this size, that you still get a full kitchen. You get the microwave, you get the three burner cooktop, you get an oven, you have a huge 10 cubic foot refrigerator. So you get a full size refrigerator that you're gonna see even in a lot of fifth wheels that we carry. So love that. And then look at the seating here. So you have the booth dinette that is gonna be able to seat four, plus you can sit two to even four more people here depending on the age and size in this chair here. These will both make into beds as well. So this table can go down, these back cushions fill that in to make that a six foot long bed. And then this here can make a bed as well. And it's very easy to do. Literally just like that, you have a flat surface to sleep on. So really you can sleep between the bed and these two areas. You can sleep up to four, five, or maybe even six people, depending on the size of the people you're trying to sleep. So I really like that about it. And then you can see all your windows along the backside. If you take yourself off of an RV lot here and imagine a campground outside these windows, you can imagine how beautiful the view would be as you're sitting here, hanging out with your family and have the whole view of the entire campsite all around you. So I really like that. You are gonna have storage underneath both of these benches. When you lift these up here, you can see there's just a white board here that will lift up to get to your storage underneath there. You can see the black supports there that the table will sit on to make that into a bed. And then you have an outlet back on this back wall as well. These windows will open up right here. So this area, this will slide over. There we go. That'll slide over to open up that window. Lock that back in place. And then this one here, you actually twist this knob to open it up. And then this one here, the whole window will open up. So all three of those windows open. Now I believe, let's see if this is working. It's not because I think the battery disconnect is off, but I don't even have the lights on in here, which is something I also really like about this model. I normally turn on the lights in the trailers, but look at how much natural light comes in here. There's not a single light on, and it is incredibly bright throughout this entire trailer. And I love that I don't even have to turn the lights on to really feel like I'm giving you a full look at how this trailer looks. That's something that I normally don't feel. I feel like I have to turn the lights on for you to really get a feel of how the trailer really looks. But not in this one because you have such big windows and a really great space that is well lit up and open that I really like about it. On all your windows, you're going to have these black pleated shades. So I like that they're black to get a little bit more light out and have a little bit more privacy with those. You have hookups for a TV right here. So if you did want to hook up a TV, you have everything that you need right here to be able to install that, whether it's sitting on top of here or mounted to the sidewall. You have all your sound controls right here with the Jensen sound system. And then you have a big storage compartment underneath here with more TV connections as well. If you wanted to put some sort of TV connections down there for any sort of DVD player or anything like that. Two speakers here. Then you have this nice little magnet strip with hooks for different kitchen utensils. This is in all the Springdale trailers, so I like that they put that there as well. Like I was saying, you do have the fan that'll vent outside of the trailer. Mention that outside. You have the three burner cooktop. And then you have a little oven, but still something that you can use there. Window all on this wall here, so you can see out to your campsite. Nice black appliances. And then a black plastic sink here as well with the, um, what's it called? Roll, roll up. I was going to say foldable, but with the rolling rack there that you have that takes up half of the sink space storage underneath here, you have some shelf storing storage, shelf storage while talking too fast, have a pull out drawer there and another one here. And then behind us, you actually have designated pantry space. So really like that there, have more pantry space here as well. And then something else that I wanna talk about too, they have two different interior colors, which is very surprising for a brand that is considered more of an entry level. They have this lighter gray sofa material here. So that gives you a true sense of the color right there. And then they have almost like a charcoal gray sort of color as well. I think we might have one here on the lot that has that color. If we do, I'll punch that in right here for you to be able to see. So, but two different color options for you. And I miss this storage up here as well. You actually have two 
more drawers up here for storage. Want to point out you have a barreled ceiling in here, so your ceiling height is about six five, six six at least. It might actually be closer to six seven, six eight. But you can see how the ceiling is curved, so that gives you an added ceiling height. You have a ducted AC, so your AC is actually ducted through the trailer, and you have these really great blade AC vents. You're probably used to seeing directional vents that shoot air in one direction. These shoot air out in a 360 degree motion, giving you significantly more air coverage. And Keystone studied these vents for over a year, just trying to figure out the best AC system possible, and found that these are helping cool RVs down up to 20% quicker with these omnidirectional vents. <coughs> so really impressed with that. That's something I really like. Then you have the uh, Wi-Fi router connections here going up to the WineGuard omnidirectional antenna on the roof, where if you wanted to install a Wi-Fi router, you just replace this plate, plug in all the wiring, and mount it to the ceiling there. And as we walk over here, I think there's just a couple other things to look at. Space in the microwave there and then storage up above the kitchen space. Now this here is the MSRP sheet. This is not our actual sales price, but you can see you have a 15,000 BTU AC in here, and you have the solar kit, so the 200 watt solar panel, and the MSRP on this is going to be 37,277. So the sales price will be well below that, but that's what the MSRP price is. If you are interested in purchasing information for this trailer, you can text me at the number on the screen and I am in a sales position so I can personally help you and assist you in getting your next trailer. If you like this one or any other one that you've seen, you can text me at the number on the screen and I would love to help you out. Now let's move on to the bathroom. You are going to have a full enclosed bathroom in here. So you have a toilet, sink with some countertop space, another inverted outlet in there, medicine cabinet, and you have a rectangular shower. Notice how you have the bubble in here, plus you have the curved ceiling, so your shower height in there is going to be about 6'4 to 6'6 six, six for your height. It does stick up a little bit higher above the ground, so you have an access panel there to get to any um, water lines that you may need to repair over time in there, so quick access to those if you ever do need access to them. And then because it is uh, lifted a little bit, the shower height in there with the bubble is going to be about 6'4 or 6'5. But I have a nice curtain, and then behind your medicine cabinet, pretty standard looking medicine cabinet storage. Underneath the sink, you'll have shelf storage underneath there, and another shelf right here. You also have a fan in here as well. Then coming to your bed area, you're going to, again, have a queen-size bed, TV hookups here, another opening up here to let air out and vent through the trailer, plus you have a duct vent right there as well. You will have storage underneath the bed, so you can see a nice big open storage compartment underneath here. And then next to the bed, you have opening, an opening going to the pass-through storage compartment underneath the bed area. You have another outlet here, plus an outlet on that side, both of them are inverted. And then you have your wardrobe storage on both sides of the bed. They're both the same. And look at how deep these shelves are. Really deep shelving up above the bed. Really like that. You also have a light up underneath there as well. And I just love this space here. I'm also a big fan of the color changes for this year, going to the black and tan wood. I'm a fan of that. I know it's a little polarizing, but I really personally like it a lot. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is some of the construction elements with this trailer. The sub flooring underneath here, they use what is called Dynaspan flooring. Believe it or not, it is the same flooring that they use in the Keystone Montana, which is their $100,000 plus fifth wheel. And you have the same flooring in this Springdale trailer that is a single piece marine grade flooring. So there's no seams in it anywhere, meaning you're not going to get squeaking anywhere on the floor or places where you step and you feel seams in the flooring. And it's a marine grade flooring, so it's completely water resistant. And Keystone has a 25 year warranty on the flooring and has never had a warranty claim on this flooring. So big fan of that as well. And just a big fan of this trailer in general. I think this is my favorite Springdale travel trailer floor plan just because of how much seating it offers you in such a small size trailer. And something that I think is really practical for what I would want if I were looking to purchase a travel trailer with the Tacoma that I have. And definitely gonna be easily half ton towable as well. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. 
And if you want to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description. And if you like this trailer or have seen any other trailer that you like for that matter, I would love to help you out and assist you in getting you into your next trailer. I am in a sales position, so I can personally assist you with finding your next trailer. And you can text me the number on the screen here, and I would love to help you out, whether it's more information about this trailer or any trailer that you've seen. So that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.